I tried Indian, nothing but massage, and this is how I went. Oh. India has one of the oldest surviving cultures on earth. And in those thousands of years of gathered knowledge, they have given the world many beautiful things. I'm sure you've heard about yoga, I'm sure you've heard about uh, meditation, but today we're going to try out something a little different. And that thing is called Ayurvedic Massage. Ayurveda itself, it uh, translates into knowledge of life, science of life, and uh, well, I've got no idea about the massage. Lizu is the one that chose it. Our adventure this time takes place in Varanasi, one of the most sacred cities in India. And as it turns out, it wasn't hard at all to find an Ayurvedic healer here that offers this massage with a weird name. It's called an Abhyanga massage, also known as Natan Pat massage. But Joe has no idea what, what I have in store for him. Well, after finding out the nickname of this procedure, you can probably understand why I wasn't too excited about it anymore. Like, why the heck do I have to get this Natan Pat massage? But what the heck, I thought. Locals have had this massage for thousands of years and they look fairly healthy. So soon we made it to the place we were looking for. I guess this is the place where the massage saloon is located. Marma massage it was called. And let's just say the place had the most authentic waiting room I had ever seen. I love the waiting room. Somebody's bedroom, I'm sitting on the corner of the bed. My masseuse was called Manesh. He has had this job for nearly 25 years. <laughs> Namaste. And it was simply a pleasure spending time with him. You know, some people just have this gift to lighten up a room with their positive energy. Table time, okay. everybody, lot of cancels this area. You yeah. lot of sitting, you lot of walking, your yeah. backbone, your hips. Is a lot of tension. Yes. So you don't mind? Yeah. Are you okay? And well, the next room looked sort of unusual as well. Peacock feathers, powders, and at least 10 bottles of different oils. I must admit that the start of the massage was a bit unusual. That water is hot, 70 degrees. 70 degrees, but you. A burning hot foot bath infused with salt, turmeric and rose petals, all of which have healing powers in Ayurvedic knowledge. But little did I know, things were about to get much hotter. Yeah, you heard me. Even though with this beard I look like a homeless person in my 40s, then Manesh had a plan to dress me up. And this plan was called a loincloth. First time we're gonna try putting on a loincloth in my life. Doesn't it just look good? Well, yeah. I don't think so either. But turns out looking like a sumo wrestler is part of this massage. After getting naked, I apologized to Manesh due to all the red spots on my body. To him, I probably looked sick. Oh my god. I know, brother, look at this. Oh, so much mosquito. Yes, I know. We have spent a lot of time near rivers lately. And if you live in a van, mosquitoes are sadly part of this lifestyle. It's so freaking hot outside that we can't close the door and somehow mosquitoes are getting through the net. Next up, I was directed to lay down on the massage table. And slowly, I started to realize what this Abhyanga massage actually was. It's a full body procedure done with various oils. And in the 3000 years that Ayurveda has been around, the healers have realized that different oils have various effects on different body parts. Some were warmed up and applied to me hot. Manage is just warming up the oil now. Next part is gonna be with hot oil. Ooh, I can feel it's hot. That feels pretty nice. Others were rubbed in just as they were. And just when I started to get used to the sensation of another man's touch, Manesh suddenly dug his fingers deep in my calves. Oh! 
It was a weird sort of pain. You know, the kind that your mind tries to justify, since it's supposed to be good for you. Yet, I'll be honest with you, the only realization in my head was that now, once again, I understood why I don't like massages on regular basis. I'm not sure if it's a cultural thing from the northern parts of Europe, but I'm simply not a huge fan of being touched by other people I met barely a minute ago. It feels a little bit weird, very intimate, but also like trusting your body into the hands of another, another person like this. It's, I'm not sure that's the right word, but it feels good. But now it was too late. I was already here and well, Manesh had no intention to stop. He worked my body up and down, applying pressure on various points. Some places felt pretty good, yet others caused fair amount of uncomfort. He tried to soothe me and said that the places which hurt the most simply store more stress and the whole idea was to get rid of those stress points so that my body would in the future be able to get rid of stress and not store it within. Well, I must say it kind of made sense and with every minute I started to trust him more and the whole thing started to feel better and better. This of course, until he told me another story. A story about chakras and more specifically the first one of them. He said it was located on a specific place on my body, to be more exact, in the very start of my spine. Yeah, it's definitely the first butt massage I've ever had. And he also added that I could tell him to stop whenever I felt uncomfortable. Funny, I thought. I actually didn't remember the last time I did something that required a safe word. When he started to work around well, let's just call it the root chakra. He said that us Westerners carry a lot of stress there, since we find it shameful to be touched around there. Yes, he was probably right, but I still had my own theory. What do you guys think? Can the tension also build up? Because there hasn't been any fingers around there before? One thing for sure. Now, I understood where the name of this massage was coming from. Where literally, like, one centimeter away from my nuts and butt. And well, having my girlfriend in the same room while it was happening did not make it any less awkward. The loincloth goes on. Then it was time to flip me around and Manes even suggested that if I wanted then the loincloth was not necessary but I kindly declined. <laughs> I'm quite happy it's there, it's, it's like a barrier. <laughs> I'm quite sure I've already shown way too much skin on YouTube as it is. While lying there on my back, I started to understand that my masseuse was a true professional. Although we had established a safe word and he had to work in quite discreet places, I felt comfortable being able to trust one's masseuse is probably the most important thing about the whole experience. And Manesh had won my trust. He worked my body like butter. And as the biggest compliment, I have to say that by that time, I had totally forgotten about the fact that I didn't like to be touched by strangers. Truthfully, I don't think I had a single thought in my head. And even him manhandling my face felt surprisingly nice. And at the peak of my relaxation, Please. the massage suddenly stopped. My body was wiped with a towel and Manesh added that I should not take a shower in the next 24 hours to let the oils work their magic on my skin. Ha, the joke was on him. Although I didn't tell him this, then we live in a van and having a shower in the next 24 hours was simply not an option. Yeah. Van life is much less glamorous than you probably think. But I do have to say that after the massage, I felt amazing. My body was soft and although the name of the massage sounded terrifying, then none of my boundaries were violated. To be honest, I even understood how this practice 
has stuck around for thousands of years. Thank you, Manish. Thank you. <laughs> I felt like I was reborn. And while having a cold drink later, it once again hit me that life is full of beautiful experiences. And sometimes, to find them, we have to gather all of our courage and step out of our comfort zone.